to the Middle East. Israel intensified its airstrikes in Lebanon as it threatened to retaliate against Iran for the missile barrage earlier this week. Chief Foreign Correspondent Ian Panel is on the scene in Beirut, where Israeli strikes have rocked part of the city. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, Michael. That's a very good description. Rocked the city. I mean, the bombing of Beirut and the south of the country is, frankly, incessant right now. All day and all night, Israel attacking, pummeling the country. I mean, around 2,000 people have been killed and more than 1 million have, be, have been displaced. And the bombardment only seems to increase. The, the suffering for the people here in the country just seems to have no end. This morning, mass destruction in Lebanon after 12 straight days of bombing from Israel. Some of the biggest strikes here in Beirut overnight. Israel claiming it hit dozens of Hezbollah targets in the city, including a commander, as it readies its response to that Iranian missile barrage. Nearly 30 on-duty medics in Lebanon have been killed in the past day alone. Around 1 a.m. in the morning, without any warning from Israel, this health center in the middle of Beirut was struck. It is affiliated to Hezbollah, but there's no evidence that there was a valid military target here. At least nine civilians killed in that attack, volunteers and rescue workers, according to local officials. Thousands have been killed by Israel, including women and children. Tragedy striking one American family. Kamal Ahmed Jawad of Dearborn, Michigan, among the dead. His family saying he was killed by an Israeli airstrike in southern Lebanon. Jawad had been volunteering, helping the elderly, disabled and injured. This as the US prepares for Israel's retaliation against Iran. New images showing extensive damage to an Israeli military base in that attack. President Biden revealing to reporters that plans to hit Iranian oil facilities are being discussed. We're in discussion with that. I think, I think that would be a little... anyway. And as tensions in the region escalate, the Iranian mission to the UN warning any country that aids Israel will also become legitimate targets. Ayatollah Khamenei leading Friday prayers in Tehran for the first time in four years today, saying the missiles launched against Israel was the minimum punishment for the crimes the country has committed. A warning, if necessary, we're prepared to strike the Israeli regime again. Guys, well, as it's the end of the week, I think it's worth taking stock on what has been a tumultuous few days. What started as a single horrific attack in Israel by Hamas uh, over a year ago has, has now just grown and grown. We now have attacks here in Beirut against Hezbollah and across Lebanon, uh, attacks next door in Syria, attacks in Yemen, in Gaza, in the West Bank, expected attacks by Israel against Iran, possibly Iraq, and America standing squarely by its side. In other words, this has truly become a regional conflict. One last thing, there are growing fears that gas prices could spike if Israel hits Iranian oil depots. This could be the October surprise the Harris campaign doesn't need. Rebecca. And Ian, the markets are balancing that concern along with the global supply glut in oil we had coming into this conflict. Okay, Ian, thank you.